body of look at these rain showers for your Friday. Here we go. Scattered rain showers from 7 a.m. to 5. Now that doesn't mean it's going to rain. Okay, 7 o'clock. Here it starts. Wait till 5 o'clock. Oh, there it ends. It won't rain solid like that, but it's going to have that threatening look to it all day tomorrow. 46 at noon, 50 at 5 p.m. It's just not going to be able to heat up. Days are shorter. The sun won't be out because of the clouds, and we'll have some cooler air trying to filter in with these rain showers. But that's a quick snapshot of your Friday. If you've got outside plans, keep an umbrella handy. Going to show you national temperatures for a couple of reasons. One, I just like to see that it's 80 degrees in Miami. The real reason I'm showing this to you is the cooler air that's going to be around with our rain is not super cold. If it were in the 20s or 30s up here in Fargo and Minneapolis, that's a good sign we're really going to cool off. Uh, I don't want to mislead you and say it's going to be warm tomorrow, but these temperatures are more mild than what they could be behind a cold front this time of year. So while it gets cooler tomorrow, it's not a big blast of super cold air. So that being said, this stays rain. This batch of rain showers is just slowly spinning through here, very slowly spinning through. Clouds moved in first. Had a few sprinkles over the past few hours locally. That's really about it. But look at this system extending all the way back to the northwest and what that's going to do is just give it time to get through. Locally no watches or warnings with this batch of rain and look at Futurecast right on the money with the position and movement of this does not really have it firing up or getting a little more developed and really giving us any rain to measure tomorrow until the late overnight hours, the early morning hours tomorrow. So 7 a.m. at the bus stops, yes, some of them a little bit soggy out there. Lower 40s, again, not super cold, but definitely cooler than what we're out with, uh, dealt with today, that is. We get into the afternoon, it'd be nice to get to 60, it'd be nice to get to average at about 65 or 6, but we don't get anywhere close, again, near 50. Letting us know that, again, it's not colder, but it's definitely going to be cooler out there as overall the winds stay out of the southwest with this system and we keep rain showers around through the late afternoon and evening hours. This does let up as we get into those overnight hours tomorrow night into Saturday. That leads to a great weekend. So let's get right to Saturday morning. Wake up, look outside, still some clouds Saturday morning. Temperature's still not great, but again, not super cold. We'll do near 60 degrees. We'll be a full 10 degrees warmer on Saturday than what we'll find tomorrow. And rain's out. We've got some clouds around. Looks like it'll be a great fall day if you're headed to any of the local festivals. Of course, Covered Bridge, one of the biggest ones that we see around here. Pretty good day for it on Saturday. Even a little bit better of a day on Sunday as temperatures jump to 70 there. We're at 54 now, 48 up in Paris, 55 in Robinson. Same for Vincennes at 55 degrees. So tonight down to 42. Scattered rain showers will increase as far as coverage area and the amounts of rain. About a half inch of rain expected in the heaviest areas tomorrow. Again, a half inch of rain looks to be the most that we measure throughout the day tomorrow. There it is, 50 degrees, scattered rain showers, 42 as rain exits tomorrow night. We've got about 30 seconds left. Take a long look at this seven day forecast and plan your weekend now. The seven day forecast has 50 tomorrow, 60 Saturday, 70 on Sunday, so a great fall weekend of weather. We have another shot of rain as we get into Tuesday. Then we level off slightly above average in the 70s for next week. Thank you, Dave.